I'm doing a reading for Love PCE. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, just career, basic reading, and I did get your message. I'm terribly sorry for the beginning. I read it. I had a headache that day when I read your comments, and I was confused. I was like, what, 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 what? So maybe, maybe I start off with the wrong foot and very bitchy, should I say. But, uh, yeah, I love when there's another reader around to kind of somewhat help me or just in general somewhat just help in general where uh, sometimes it kind of gets overwhelming doing these readings. Um, uh, I love doing readings. Um, I love shuffling the cards. I love... Uh, reading for other people, but uh, after like, <laughs> it's been 11 years probably, yeah, 11 years, um, after 11 years you kind of get uh, at the point where you uh, uh, want to become a little professional, a little bit, get out, but uh, by me reading, uh, reading some books and stuff and everything, I just, I get tired of of um, a feeling that I should do parties or that I should do readings at like you know celebrations and stuff like that I kind of don't want to do that I feel like I should be a coffee reader <laughs> not just because I like the smell of coffee I really hate drinking it I don't think coffee is one bit good it's just ugh, not it's not my thing but I like uh, the smell of it I love the brewing smell um, but I never really got out to, never got out to become a professional reader. So if you have any advice on, I mean, if you if you're out as a professional reader, but if you have any advice on getting out and doing readings, I would love it. Um, plus, I also I message you, but I'd like to be overwhelming a little bit. Um, I was gonna ask you for a reading um, about me going professional, and what I mean by that is. Do you see anything with me jumping up? Like, what's what's stopping me from not being motivated, or what's stopping me from not going forward with it? What's stop? What's what's there's uh, what's there to stop? So I'm trying to figure out what's what's going on with me. How come my clock ain't ticking to become a professional? And any advice from you? Any advice from any tarot reader is awesome. Oh, but anyways, back to you. Sorry, had to do my little introduction there. You just want a basically a career basic reading. I'm just gonna do my famous fry card spread. Um, if you haven't get a chance to go through some of my videos, um, go into my next my next channel, um, Wicked Gem, and. Basically, uh, a Wicca gem. Sorry, go into that account because I'm gonna start doing. Uh, probably gonna give out two videos on tarot card spreads, and hopefully that helps start some beginners. I did start. I did sh um, started a channel. It's called Learn Tarot, and I didn't. I didn't go forward with it because it was just overwhelming, a lot of work, and not a lot of people were even interacting with it. They kind of, I mean, for those people who did, I love them dearly. Love the, you know, the ones who subscribed and add me as friends, but um, didn't feel a lot of people wanted to learn, didn't hear any feedbacks, didn't hear anything like that. And that usually just makes me feel like I'm just there for show and not there for helping further. So I did have a channel, but, and I did have some spreads on there. But this time I'm actually, going to do spreads on my Wicca channel, so, anyways, I'm doing my famous five card spread. I do not read reversals. 
and I'm getting them because I accidentally this is my famous five card spread and you'll see it in my next you'll see it on my on that channel the videos on about uh the spread. It's I made it up for specifically YouTube readings. But anyways, let's go for you. Career. You're gonna you have Ace of One and the three of uh, swords together. This usually meaning that this new goal or this new work life, and this is a very good startup, um, coming into you, coming towards you, and it's the beginning of this work slash social life, this new world, this epidemic world for you. And behind it, you have depression or some bit of sourness behind it, not fully enthusiastic behind it. Um, I see that, you, you know, you're not going to go, f you are going forward with it, but it's not with 100% uh, um, intent. Um, but it's also good money. It's fair money. You got the six of, the, the six of pentacles and you got the emperors. So this is meaning it's a very slow, steady pace income with this new career life that you're going to be heading to. What it is is the uh, to remedy this this card, so it doesn't really pop up in your next reading is to gain some some assurance, gain some some self confidence that this job is good. Maybe this is making it feel unstable for this new job or this new career because it could be a little overwhelming. Um, you got the hermit as your outcome, and this usually re represents. Um, represents learning experiences or wisdom or learning wisdom through experiences kind of thing you're learning this this uh, these new um, solutions or these old solutions or these old problems old solutions but just different situations kind of thing you're kind of you already done this you already went through this kind of thing and you have the answers to solve these puzzles um, so to answer these two right here, you got this through your swords is that you've already been through this before. Maybe try something new to knock it out. Because this this career that you're heading on is really good because you got the Ace of Wands at this beginning and you got the Six of Pentacles. That's even though these are minor cards, that's still a good little start of foundation to build um, to build on a little bit. And you got the Empress, which is really good. It's a lovely, mothery card. Not only that, it, it's a steady, a very steady, not a fast or slow pace, but a very steady pace job. Nothing too dramatic changes and stuff like that. So it's very stability there. So um, I hope this helps you. And um, I'll be expecting to see in your readings. If you have any questions about this reading, message me um, or comment. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Bless it be.